Good morning, and thank you so much for joining Healthy and Whole Men's Prayer Group. I am Seth, and I'm excited this week because I'm alive. That is, that's good for me, <laughs> just to be alive and to be before each of you all this morning. I pray that you all have had a great week and that God has blessed you and favored you on this week. Let's go before the throne of grace. Father God, we just thank you. We praise and bless your name. God, we don't count it as a discount to come before your presence, God, but we're looking unto you, O God, the author and finisher of our faith. God, we thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing. We thank you for your, your grace. God, you've been so wonderful this week. You brought us through the highways and byways and you protected us, O oh God. And you've even given us a mind to pray. God, even as I pray this morning, God, I want to make sure that I come before you with a sincere heart and mind. And God, as my heart is sincere before you, O oh God, I pray that the words that you will give me to say, O oh God, will come out today. God, I pray that your leading and that your guiding will be upon me this morning. God, we ask that you bless your people, bless those that are, are preparing to just get about their day today, oh God. We pray that your, your protection will be over them and that you will lead and guide them in your will and way, oh God. God, we pray for our leaders locally and nationally, our government, uh, our pastors, our priests, oh God, all of those that are in authority this morning, God, I pray that you will lead them, oh God. We thank you for their influence. We thank you for how you've blessed them. And God, we pray that they will not forget who you are. Uh, God, you said in Psalms 128 and 1 that uh, we, should, we will be blessed if we fear you, oh God, and that we will walk in your way, oh God. Lord, if we are walking in your way, we are a blessed people. God, help us not to be deceived by the enemy that will come to uh, just taint our minds and taint our thoughts towards people, oh God, but help us, help our leaders to consult you in what they're doing and what they're saying and even what they desire to put into law. God, we know we're coming against so many different things. Uh, so many different things are, are coming ahead. But God, I pray this morning that you will bless our leaders to make good decisions, not for re-election, but for the people for the well-being of the people, God, that you will bless them and God, that you will strengthen them in your will and in your way. God, I thank you today, oh God. I thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you're doing, all that you will do and all that you're going to do, oh God. I pray this morning for obedience. God, I pray for obedience this morning. God, I know that you've called some of us to do wonderful works. God, I pray against discouragement uh, just because we can't see uh, the manifestation, oh God, immediately, oh God, the hundreds and thousands of people, oh God. Lord, I pray that you will keep our heart discouraged. I'm sorry, keep our heart encouraged so we won't become dis discouraged, oh God. Lord, we know that uh, in your words, you even state yet yeah, uh, in Matthews, I believe it was 18, 19, and 21, God, that um, the laborers are few, uh, but the work is large. And so, God, I pray for those few labels, oh God, those that are faithful unto you, oh God, those that are doing things according to your word, those leaders that have stood up and say, you know what, whatever come, whatever may, I'm going to stand for God. Lord, I pray strengthen their bones today, oh God, strengthen, strengthen their authority, oh God, strengthen their speech, God, that they won't become discouraged because they don't see the manifestation immediately, oh God. Help them to know that even if it's one that's changed because of Christ, that is one indeed, that is one that is uh, saved from the pits of hell, God. I pray that they will not focus on the masses, but they will focus on the people, God. Lord, again, Lord, we thank you for being faithful unto the cross, that we may have the righteousness of Christ. God, I thank you this morning for righteousness. I thank you, thank you, thank you for righteousness. Lord, as we come this morning, God, I pray that our minds and our hearts are turned towards you, O oh God, that you will give us the righteousness uh, that is necessary, O oh God, in order for us to be faithful. God, I, I can't think, but when I, when I just pause and just 
ponder a little bit about where we are in our world. God, I know we can be in a much better place if we would attend unto your word. So God, help us to be righteous, oh God. Help us to be men that will, as Luke 9 and 23, oh God, tells us uh, that if any man come after you, oh God, that we must deny ourselves. God, I'm praying that you will help us to deny ourselves daily. I think that's where we, we continue, oh God, to, to miss the mark. Lord, some of us want to say once in Christ, always in Christ. That may be true. But in order for us to live a successful life in you, in order, hallelujah, for us to be more like you, oh God, I pray that you will help us to deny, yes, Lord Jesus, deny ourselves, oh God, so we can be the example that you're calling for us to be, oh God. Lord, I'm praying this morning that we will give up daily, oh God, every single day that we will get before you, O oh God, and that we will pray unconditionally, that we will pray out of the abundance of our heart, that we will pray, hallelujah, yes, until you bless us, O oh God, that uh, just like the, 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 the person that wouldn't let you go until they receive what they wanted, oh God, help us to be those individuals. Yes, Lord Jesus, to come before your presence, oh God, and that we will focus upon you, oh God, and that we will glorify you, oh God, and that we will get before you, oh God, even if nobody else will. Lord, that we will pray unconditionally, oh God, that we will focus on you, oh God, even when uh, there's nobody with us, oh God. Lord, help us to deny ourselves, oh God, so our minds can be clear, so our thoughts can be pure, oh God, and that you may sanctify us even the more, oh God. Lord, do it for your glory, oh God. Lord, we need to submit ourselves, oh God. Even as I think uh, this morning regarding prayer, oh God, Lord, if we submit ourselves unto you, oh God, you won't lead us astray. So God, I'm praying this morning, God, I'm interceding this morning for those that are having frustrations, oh God, those that are going through depression, those that are discouraged this morning, oh God, I pray that they will submit their wills, yes, Lord Jesus, to you, that they will submit to the will of God. And as they submit unto you, oh God, that you will begin to speak to them, oh God, and show them what to do and how to do, oh God. And even as they submit unto you, yes, my God, that you will begin to deliver them out of that place, oh God, of uncomfortableness, oh God, delivering them out of that depression, oh God, delivering them out of that wrongful thought or wrongful thinking, oh God. Help us, oh God, to submit ourselves unto you. Lord, do it for your glory, God. Do it for your glory, oh God. Help us to be obedient unto you, oh God. As I grew up in a household that we talked about obedience to parents a lot, oh God. But Lord, help us to know that that's good, but we need to be obedient unto you. We need to read your word. We need to study your word. We need to hear the women and men of God that will encourage us, oh God, to do what is right. God, I'm praying this morning that you will bless us to do, yes, my God. What is right, O oh God, in the sight of you, O oh God, that we will have enough integrity, O oh God, to withstand all of the wiles of the enemy, O oh God, and the things that we're faced against, O oh God, that we won't be deterred by things, O oh God, materialistic things, O oh God. We won't be deterred by our own uh, inner workings of our hearts, O oh God. God, but we will turn, yes, Lord our hearts towards you, O oh God. And as we turn our heart towards you, that you will begin to speak to us, O oh God, that our walk will change. Yes, O oh God, that our walk will change. Our talk, O oh God, will change. The things that we're doing, O oh God, hallelujah, will change, O oh God, for the better. So people will see our lives, oh God. People will notice that there's something about us. And God, as you open that door, as that platform will present itself, oh God, I pray that we won't take glory, but God, we will give all glory unto you, oh God, that we will say, if it wasn't for the goodness of God, if it had not been for him, oh God, that where would I be, oh God? So Lord, I pray, God, as you bless your people because of their obedience, that they will not forget who you are. Lord, help us today, O oh God, to be humble. Help us, yes, O oh God, 
to be uh, committed to something, oh God, committed to the cause, oh God. Help us, oh God, in our integrity, oh God. Help us in our obedience, oh God. Help us in our faithfulness, yes, oh God. Lord, help us today to be more for you, oh God, that we will be those vessels that you're calling for in this hour. Lord, we know that the work, hallelujah, is great. We know that the work is great as we see our world continue to go in different directions, as we we see gun violence on the rise and people are dying. God, I pray this morning, oh God, I pray this morning that people will pray. Lord, help them to know that they don't have to be articulate. They simply have to have a conversation with you. And God, in those conversations with you, oh God, I pray that you will reveal yourself to your people, oh God, to, that you will reveal yourself to that first timer that's praying, oh God, that's willing to give you the shot because they don't know which way to go. Hallelujah. That you will bless them, oh God, that you will answer their prayers conditionally, oh God. They may not get everything that they want, oh God, but that you'll be able to show them that you are real, even if they don't have anybody else around them. God, I pray that you will lead them and guide them today. God, I feel that in my heart, that there are so many, hallelujah, that are lost. There are so many that are broken. There are so many that people feel like nobody cares for them, oh God. Lord, I'm praying that you will raise up a people, hallelujah, raise up a people that encourage those that are downtrodden. God, we, we look on the outward appearance, oh God, but convict us, yes, oh God, to begin to look upon the heart and those that are broken, hallelujah. Those are, that are discouraged, oh God, those that are depressed, oh God. Lord, I'm praying that you will give your people to seek those individuals out. And God, that we may touch them in the name of Jesus and their situation will change. God, I'm tired of seeing people fall by the wayside because of selfishness. I'm tired of seeing lives being corrupted and uprooted because of what we want to do, oh God. Lord, I'm praying that you will raise up a people that will begin to speak truth, oh God, even in the midst of all that's going on, oh God, or being politically correct, oh God, but they will simply speak truth. And that truth not only will set them free as the the vessel, oh God, but they will set others that will listen unto them, that will set those folks free in their lives, and that the chains may be loose, oh God, that the the, the bound thought process will be freed, oh God, that sickness will go, oh God, that men will be made straight in their ways, oh God, that they begin to walk the straight and narrow, oh God, that they won't tip to the left or to the right, oh God. But God, they, they will seek you in a way, oh God, that people will know that there is a difference. God, raise up your people today. God, create the platforms that are needed, oh God, for your word to get out in this hour. God, we know that you are soon to return. We know that there are people dying. We know that there is a pandemic. We know that there's a shortage. We know that gas is going on. We know all of this, oh God, but help us to know you, the author and finisher. Help us to consider you, oh God, help us to get on our face as we stated this morning daily, oh God, to renew ourselves in you, oh God. Help us to know that tomorrow's blessing is tomorrow's blessing, but we need today, oh God. We have to get through today. God, help us to seek you for that thing today. God, help us not to stop praying just because we don't see your work, oh God. Help us to understand that you're working, yes, oh God behind the scenes, oh God. And just because we don't see what's going on doesn't mean that you're not working on our case. Lord, there are many of times that I've been faced with that same situation that I didn't know that I was going to get an approval, or I didn't know that that was going to work in my favor, or I didn't know if I was going to get the job, but the people were working behind the scenes. And all of a sudden I would get the call and say that you were approved, or I would get the call and say the job is yours, or I would get the call and say, congratulations. Father God, help us to have that same compassion of patience, oh God, 
that we will wait upon you instead of trying to do it ourselves, oh God. Help us to know that you don't need our help. But what we need is you. And as we consult you, oh God, that you will lead us and that you will guide us in your will and your way. God, help us to commit our ways to you, oh God. Lord, I know we're in the midst of just this entrepreneurship spirit. And so many think they can just walk away from uh, their employers, oh God. But help us to know that some of us are being deceived that we're not prepared to walk away because we didn't have any discipline working for anybody else. And God, we still don't have discipline. And so God, I pray this morning, oh God, before they step away, before they say, you know what, forget this place, or I'm going to make the millions by myself, oh God, that they will consider self-control, that they will consider obedience unto you, oh God, that they will begin to cry out unto you and say, Lord, what must I do? Yes, God, you have given me the platform. Yes, you've given me the space. Yes, you've given me the knowledge. But what will you have for me to do? God, help us to consult you so there won't be wasted time, that there won't be wasted efforts, oh God, and the things that we feel we can do. God, but as we commit those things unto you, yes, my God, that you will manifest those things in and within your power and in your way, oh God. God, we give you glory, oh God. Lord, help us to resist the urge to move in things of ourselves. Let me say it again. Help us to resist the urge and to try to move our own situation. God, help us to resist this fleshly heart, oh God, but commit unto you, oh God, in all that we're doing, oh God. Help us to resist those that are trying to influence us. They, they have great stories, oh God, or they may have a great program for us to be a part of, but they are full of uh, selfishness. They're full of the enemy. God, help us to be able to see uh, with our spiritual eyes those that are trying to deceive us, oh God. As we go deeper into your word, oh God, begin to reveal those that are trying to deceive us, oh God, in our thought life, oh God. They're, they're trying to get into our mind, oh God, as we listen, oh God. Help us to guide what we're hearing, oh God. Lord, help us to keep good company, oh God. Those that are talking foolishness, Lord. Lord, if you tell us to move, oh God, help us to have the boldness to move away, oh God, even if things will not be in our favor, oh God, even if things will fall off because we've left those that are around us. God, help us to be bold in that move today. God, I feel in my spirit that you are telling some woman to leave the man that she's been living with, not only because that it is not right, but you have a work for her to do. God, I pray for that one today. I pray for that woman today that she will gird herself, oh God, to be prepared for the work that you're doing within her. Lord, help her to know that all is not lost, that she can make it without that man because you are the ultimate man, that you can speak to her situation today and that you can magnify her in a way. And God, I pray as she walk away, God, that she will close the door. God, that she won't pick up the phone call, that she won't text him anymore, God, but that she will give you her heart. Hallelujah. I feel this. That she will give you everything that you are calling for her to give you. And God, even as you, she gives it to you, oh God, I pray that there will be testimony after testimony because of the spirit that you have in her, oh God, that you will raise her up in this hour and that she will say, because I left that God bless my vision. God bless my life because I was obedient, oh God. Lord, I believe that you're calling for an obedient people. God, it's time for us to stop doing the things that we thought were right and begin to do those things that you say are right. God, do it for your glory today, oh God. Stir us today. Stir our hearts. Stir our hearts to be obedient unto you, not just a few days a week, but help us to stir. Help us to be stirred, to be obedient every day unto you. If that causes us some discomfort, oh God, I pray that you will give us just that calm, that peace, in the, even in the midst of the discomfort, simply because we're being obedient unto you, oh God. Do it for your glory today. It's in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen.
Well, people of God, I've given you. I've given you what God has given me. And I feel, I feel the presence of God. I feel his presence this morning. And I pray uh, that one, that woman that I pray for will hear this. Or I know God can even supernaturally uh, impart it into her, or you may know her. But I ask that she will pray that God would speak to her. God has a work for her, whoever she is. And the sooner, the better. As soon as she walk away, God will give her the strength. And I believe that strength that God will give her, that he will give us the same strength. If we're walking away from the things that uh, we felt were right. And we're wanting to please God in our will, and in our way. I believe in God that he will help you to establish your ways and be more for him than you've ever been for him before. Well, let's pray before we get out of here. And let me just pray over your day and your week. Father God, I just thank you for those that are gathered, those that will view, those that will be encouraged by your word. God, I pray today, God, that you will give them strength in the name of Jesus, the broken, the sick, the discouraged, that you will give them strength so they can get through not only this day, oh God, but they can have a productive week. And God, we give you glory, honor, and praise for all that you're doing and all that you will do in and through us. Help it to be for your glory instead of our own. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, people of God, be blessed today, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.